Hello, this is Phil Capel with Mueller's, and we're going to be presenting another one of my tips this week. It's going to come from my book, Capel on Nine Bottle. It's a study of the games of Ephraim Reyes and Johnny Archer. The first half of the book is a play-by-play -play analysis of a match that they played, an exciting double hill uh, match, and actually the book contains a DVD of the entire match and 25 instructional uh, features after that. And then the book itself also in the second half has a detailed statistical analysis of how they perform many of the things that they do. And today what we're going to talk about is warm-up strokes uh, with the aid of this table here which is adapted from the book. Now a warm-up stroke as you may know is, is a series of back and forth movements that you make with your shooting arm while you're down over the ball aiming a shot, getting a feel for your stroke, and also for the speed that you want to play the shot. So there's several functions that a warm-up stroke uh, can do for you when you're down over the ball, and I think that they're one of the greatest uh, things that a pool player can do uh, because you can take as much time as you need to get prepared for a shot. Now, the interesting thing about the uh, numbers in my study, which covered a couple hundred position plays, is that Archer and Reyes both have sort of a set pattern of strokes that they use. On easier shots, they tend to use fewer warm-up strokes. On more difficult shots, they will use more, but both have sort of a, a grouping around which they play uh, the typical shot. Archer, for example, uses two warm-up strokes. Here we show 17 out of 85 shots, 33 shots he used three, and on four shots, he used 18. So you can see that's 68 of his 85 shots were grouped within this 2, 3, and 4 range. Reyes has a uh, more lengthy and disciplined approach to his warm-up strokes. We can see here that he uses 30 on, on of his 101 shots. 30 took 4. 46, he took 5, which is his most commonly used number and 14 he used 6. And you can see interestingly they, but, that both players on one shot each took 8. So those were difficult shots that required a lot of time for them to get uh, ready to play the shot. So as an amateur player how many should you use? I would suggest that you use whatever feels right to you. You don't want to ever shoot a shot before you're ready but you also don't want to sit there sawing wood after you've already completed uh, your routine and, and are totally prepared. I would suggest that you might want to use one or two more than these fellows because they are so grooved and they play their strokes and they play so much whereas as an amateur it may take you a little longer time to get the feel of the shot. So I hope these uh, tips help and once again pool is more fun when you play your best pool. Thank you.